I play Amelia Bryant and she's an artist I and mean, she's an art student and uh, she is quite tormented and um, she's had a, quite a difficult past and she expresses her um, lack of well-being through her um, art and you know she's uh, like putting herself on tape and tries to commit suicide several times it's quite dramatic but sometimes it's quite funny she's a real artist it's not self-indulgent at all and it's uh, it's quite a lot of fun actually and um, it's a journey of, um, of self-discovery and uh, at the end she she realizes how valuable her life is so it's um, it's an interesting journey Sally is, uh, is Milo's childhood friend and um, she's the alter ego of Amelia you know um, very bright very different physically and um, and I think yeah, I mean, it's really, it's really difficult. She's between a, a guardian angel and, um, and, and Myla's subconscious. I think the madness of the script was very uh, appealing. The story of those four characters that are very lost and lonely and, um, and, um, and the fact that I was playing two characters was very interesting because, you know, you have, I play Amelia, who is very dark, and I play also in, uh, Sally, who is very light, who loves life, who is very witty, has a big sense of humor. So the contrast of the two was really challenging and interesting. It's fantastic. I really like him. I mean, first of all, as a human being, he's very humble, very gentle, and it's his first movie, and um, and he wrote it, so it's very close to his heart. You know, he's very passionate, and uh, he's very open. He he's not he doesn't have a, like a big a ego, and he's not upset when we go. Oh, what do you think about that? I don't really agree on that point. Can we can we change change the line? Or um, he's just very open, very calm all the time, and. Um, it's just great to really have a real exchange with the director rather than he's the director and the actor and I'm just, you know, a puppet. There's a real collaboration. It's interesting because I worked a lot with Roisin Carty, my dialect coach, and she's uh, really great because we try to work on the voices, like on the voice of Emilia. It's quite cracky and very low and dark. And then you have the, you know, Sally was more high pitch and very light and, um, and less um, yeah less torment tormented so that was that and also the looks are so different and you know Sally has red hair she's she looks like she's coming straight from a, a movie from the 50s um, and then um, yeah Wakana uh, was great, the, the makeup artist and the hairdresser, because she helped a lot for all the looks of Emilia also. It's, she, she is a, a real artist, you know, she spends a lot uh, t of time, um, you know, creating new looks and putting herself on camera, so you have, it's like a fashion show actually. <laughs>